Okay, so here's a quick tip para sa mga web developers out there, no? Uh, kung gumagamit ka ng HTML or XML, tapos hindi mo pa alam yung emet, ito yung perfect time na malaman mo siya. Okay? So let's get started. Uh, papano ka ba nagko-code sa HTML? A lot of people, ginagawa nila, uh, sige, ganyan, no? Kinakopy-paste nila itong mga brackets, tapos nilagay HTML, tapos yung closing tag, ganyan. The thing is, mabagal yun, right? Lalo na in every web page there are thousands of tags na you have to code yourself. No, not only that, kung lalagay mo pa ng class yan, syempre wala naman talagang class yung HTML, pero kung lalagay mo pa ng class yan, uh, hassle pa yun, no? So, papano yan yung quote-unquote proper way para mag-code sa web? So, may tinatawag tayo na Emmet. It makes everything faster, it saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of hours, no? of typing. So sa VS Code, built-in siya, ina-enable na lang. Uh, kung gumagamit ka ng Sublime Text or anything similar, Atom.io, uh, you have to search for yourself pa paano ina-enable yung Emmet. Okay, so para ma-enable siya, simply go to settings.json ng VS Code, tapos ta-type yung Emmet.expansion on tab, no? Then by default, naka-false yan, so tuturo natin siya. Okay, ta save, and then we go back here. So, Ano yung next tag na kailangan natin gawin? Head. ba? So, instead of typing all the brackets and stuff, we just type head. And then, pe-press lang natin yung tab. And kita nyo dito, nag-autocomplete na siya. And then, you could put whatever things you want. ba? So, very, very convenient. Okay? So, also, try natin ulit sa body. Ganyan. So, hindi dyan nagtatapos yung functionality ng Emmet. Okay? Marami pa siyang pwedeng gawin. Okay? For example, meron kang listahan. Kunyari, uh, UL. So, kunyari, kailangan mo ng 10 items, let's say. So, kapag gumamit ka ng greater than sign, ibig sabihin yan, define mo yung mga anak ni UL, yung mga child niya. Tapos, LI, di ba? Yun yung mga list items natin. So, what if gusto ko 10 ganun, no? LI times 10. Kapag nag-tab tayong ganyan, gagawin na siya para sa atin. So, very easy, di ba? You could imagine yung time na you're saving, by learning this, no? It's, it's very easy to learn. Walang masyadong uh, parang overhead sa learning. So, what else can we do? Uh, kunyari, may div tayo and then gusto mo i-define yung mga class niya. So, div, tas anong class siya? Dot, no? Dot is for class and then container. No? Tapos sabihin natin may lima siyang anak, no? Yan, gumagamit akong parentheses for grouping, no? Tapos may lima siyang anak na div dot column and then also, ano sila, color red or something, no? Yun yung mga class nila. Tapos times 4, ganyan. Okay? So kapag tinab ko yan, kita nyo yung mga class automatic na nandyan na. So again, you're saving more time. Okay? Hindi lang yan class, no? Pwede rin sa ID. So uh, pound sign yung ginagamit for ID, uh, my ID. So makita mo, you could do so many things, no? Uh, not only that, you could also do, ano, A, tapos ano, href. Tapos, uh, mywebsite.com. So, yun. Uh, I hope this would speed up your development regarding HTML, XML, stuff like that. No? And would save you a lot of time. And if you want to explore more about Emmet, you could visit their website at emmet.io. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Or join our Discord server. Link is in the description below. If you like this video, if you learned a lot from this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you and see you next time.